what are the three fastest forms of communication? Uh, just go ahead and like start telling them about me. What do you guys have? Three fastest form. Talking, yeah, uh, like technology-wise. <coughs> Texting, um, phones. Uh, how about one more? What's one that we all go do after we are here at school? We go home, sit on the couch. Uh, what's television? So we have telephone, television, and my favorite one is telewoman. Somehow that just whoo, goes super fast. <laughs> you, uh, I have five sisters, and somehow if you tell them something, it just whoo, gets automatically translated to everybody else. It's, it's pretty amazing. My name is Blake Wiley, and I'm here today to persuade you guys that face-to-face -face communication is by far the most effective and uh, best form of communication that we have available to us. <clears throat> My three main points are you'll be getting the most information across by communi communicating face-to-face. -face. You will be able to communicate much faster, and in the end, you'll be able to get a lot more stuff done. So let's dive right into my first point. <clears throat> if you can't hear or see somebody, like if you're just reading the text or the email, you're missing about 90% of all the information they're trying to convey to you guys. And, uh, and that's quite a bit of information. Let's take a look at a graph real quick, um, I'll try to illustrate what I was saying there. This was made by the CEO of the ODM group. If you see that little citation there, you guys probably never heard of him. But basically what that company does is they go to larger companies and uh, help them with their intra-company communication. So they would like go to Microsoft and help them with the management talking to the employees. So they've done a lot of research on this. And this is kind of what they've came up with. About 50% of all communication is in your body language. So if I was up here and, and I just stood still the whole time and didn't really move around, for one, that would be super boring for you guys. But also, we'd be missing about 50% of all that I'm trying to say, which would be pretty boring. And if I got up here and just spoke in a monotone whew, the whole time, that would be also pretty boring because uh, you wouldn't know if I was joking or if I was really trying to drive a point home. Then only 10% is the words I'm actually saying. So that's really just kind of the fluff on top. But let's look at an example of this, uh, text versus video. Uh, what I did here is I got a video clip online, and I just took the script that they used for the clip. And I'm going to have you read this and see if it makes any sense at all. It's, it'll probably be pretty jumbled, and you won't really know what's going on. And then I'm going to show the clip of the video and see how much more information that you get across through just their body language and their tone of voice. So go ahead and read that for a sec, and then we'll move on to the video clip. OK, did that make any sense really at all? What do you guys think? No, not really. It's kind of confusing, isn't it? You don't know what's going on. Like, what is a gainer? I don't even know what that is. Maybe if you know what parkour is, you kind of get an idea of what they're doing. But, but still, it's really very unclear. Now let's take a look at the video clip and pay attention to, to their body language and their tone of voice and see how much more you get out of it. OK, we all go together, or we go one at a time. Here it is, here it is. Uh, truck to refrigerator to dumpster, 360 spin on the couch. <coughs> <laughs> I watched that clip probably 40 times when I was making this. It was funny every time. <laughs> okay, how much more information did you get out of that than just that bit of text that I showed you guys? A lot more, right? Uh, you're able to see some emotional reaction. You were able to tell actually what they were doing, jumping off into a refrigerator box. And, and all around, just a lot more information. And, and that's what face-to-face -face communication is like. You're able to get so much more information across because you have your body language and your tone of voice. And that leads me to my second main point, which is uh, you'll be able to communicate a lot faster. I want you to imagine like a little dirt path right here. And this is something like that you'd find up in the mountains. Like here, I like to hike. And so imagine that little dirt path, only one person could fit across. And now think of a Big Mac truck whoosh, trying to get across that little dirt path. It's not going to happen. Maybe a few pieces will make it by after it hits the trees, but not a lot. Now imagine whoosh, an eight-lane superhighway that you'd find in Seattle or something. That Big Mac truck can easily cruise down that. 
And that is what face-to-face -face communication is like. You can fit so many cars and so much information across the face-to-face -face communication that, uh, that you can communicate way faster because you have so many more avenues that communication can happen on. <coughs> uh, the CIO.com place, they did a study by asking a bunch of uh, CEO executives for big, big companies, Fortune 500 companies, and asking them what their favorite way to communicate with their employees was. And, um, and this is what by far the most common response was. Uh, I find oftentimes that when I look the other person in the eyes and ask them something, I get far more than I ever would over an email. So he's saying it saves time just to go talk to the person real quick and, and get the, the information that needs to be transmitted across way faster than just sending an email. <coughs> and this goes to my, second, my third main point, which is uh, you'll be able to get a lot more stuff done. Uh, because you'll be getting so much information across in such a short period of time, it will be way easier for you to, to say what you need to say and then move on to other things. I'm president of the Applied Physics and Engineering Club here at the college. And a while back, we were working on a project, uh, our fundraiser, actually. And we had sent emails back and forth all week long. And uh, we really weren't getting anywhere. So uh, at the end of the week, we thought, why don't we just meet real quick and get, get this done? So we did, and we got it all worked out. So we could have saved that whole week of time of uh, shooting emails back and forth and uh, trying to to communicate with each other if we would have just kind of got and sat at one of these tables and, and worked out the problem. <clears throat> and these are a few of the, the benefits of face-to-face uh, -face communication that I found on bluejeans.com. This is, I know <laughs> bluejeans.com doesn't sound like a super credible source, I know. But actually, they're a company that, uh, that helps it facilitate uh, video conference calls with larger companies. And so that's, like, that's their main business. And so they've done a lot of uh, research and, uh, and be able to, to observe what the benefits are of face-to-face -face communication. And, uh, and this is how some of the things you'll be able to get a lot more stuff done by. So one simple five-minute conversation could easily eliminate 15 back and forth emails. This is what they were saying. Just like I said a few minutes ago with the club example, we were able to get so much more done by simply going and meeting together real quick instead of sending all these emails back and forth. And uh, you're also able to brainstorm and uh, solve harder problems a lot faster. I know when we're working on a project over in the physics club, like uh, right now we're actually building a, a space balloon that goes up into space and takes pictures. Anyway, when we're designing it, we actually we get all together and work on it as a team, not just as one person, because we can overcome a lot harder problems as a team instead of just the one, one guy. So to recap, my three main points. Um, number one, you will be getting much more information across. Number two, you'll be able to communicate a lot faster. And number three, in the end, you'll be able to get a lot more stuff done. I was here today to persuade you guys that face-to-face -face communication is by far the best and most effective way that we have to communicate with each other. And I want to ask you guys, next time you have the opportunity to use face-to-face -face communication, rather than sending an email or a text or something, try the face-to-face -face and see how much better it works. I know, for, I tried it a while back with one of my professors asking a math question, and I got way more by just going and talking to the person instead of uh, sending him an email asking him the question. And now I have a great relationship with my math professor, which is a major bonus of this face-to-face -face communication. So give it a try and see how it works for you. Thank you.